Hi, I'm Shay O'Reilly from High Valley Dawn Farm and today we're going to find out exactly what is a closed loop system. They say change starts with the individual. Well, we need to wake up every day and decide what kind of world we want to create. And today, we're going to plant a seed. Wow, that was quick. Well, it looks like these babies are ready to go, so we're going to pull them out, pack them up, and head over to our restaurant beaches. We're going to wash it, hand it over to the chefs, they're going to prep it up and turn it into something delicious, and then it gets served to the customers. And what happens with the leftovers? Food waste is an often overlooked driver of climate change. Every year, approximately one third of food produced for human consumption in the world is going to waste. That's almost 1.3 billion tonnes. In Australia, the emissions of CO2 and methane from food waste actually account for more than the steel and iron ore industries combined, about 8%. So the leftovers are separated and then taken back to the farm. The meat scraps are fed to the dogs and the vegetable scraps are taken to the compost pile where they're turned over and processed by the chickens. When food scraps are sent to the dump with the other general waste, it often ends up anaerobically rotting and producing the unwanted byproducts of the emissions. When the food scraps are used correctly in a compost, the emissions are retained and they're returned back to this. Beautiful, humus-rich soil, turning it back into a valuable resource. Because as we say in permaculture, there's no such thing as waste. This is why composting is so important. It's the most sustainable way for you to create your own fertilizer while getting your own backyard garden pumping. The chickens will pick through the compost and then spit out some of the yellowest, healthiest eggs you've ever seen. All of our animals are free range and integrate together in harmony. The eggs are then eaten by our farm volunteers, who in turn take that energy and put it back into the garden, planting even more seeds. This cycle shows us how we can not only capture and store energy and then reuse it many times, we're actually creating a never-ending loop of energy which feeds itself, which is known as a closed loop. This system produces no waste and has the added byproducts along the way. The little nuggets of phosphorus left behind by the chickens, as well as the calcium from the leftover eggshells, are used to nourish the garden and eliminate the need for fertilizers from outside the system. The compost actually sequesters carbon from the atmosphere and returns it to the earth through the process of humification. And even our farm volunteers benefit going up big and strong from that natural protein. When we first begin to learn about permaculture, many people are surprised to find out that it isn't just about growing veggies. Permaculture is a framework that we can use to make equitable decisions for a better world. These principles can be used to guide the way that we run our homes, our businesses, the way that we educate our kids, even the way that we run our countries. We need to consider the implications of what this could look like in a completely self-sustaining community, which utilizes the principles of a sharing economy or closed loops to reduce its waste. By integrating these systems into the way that we interact with the outside world, we can become more self-sufficient, which means that we can reduce the amount of resources that we need to consume from outside the system. But once the energy comes into our community in the form of money, we can share that energy around and recycle it by making sure that that money stays within that community. This is where our quiet and peaceful revolution begins. Permaculture and closed loop economies offer one of the only viable solutions for creating the greatest amount of change as an individual. We're dedicated to documenting the permaculture movement and spreading the word as it expands around the world. So if you've enjoyed this video and like what we're doing, please get behind us and like, comment, share and subscribe to our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Remember, the revolution lives in your own backyard. Thanks for watching and see you next time.